What you call psychotic behavior, we call company policy. At night, the lake rock. At night, the lake rock. Today's best music. And now, and now, the decline of Western civilization continues. 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 You want hip? I can do hip. I can give you a hip show. The kids will be up to their hips and hip. That's how hip. Disappointed. Your alarm with Buzz, now you're tuned to us. We wake up with you. We have radio jobs, which means we're slobs. We wake up with you. Yes, we sit around a microphone and have a blast. The management ignores us, but that won't last. When it's 10 a.m., your sister will. Ooh, baby. I don't think my daughter should hear this. Well, I guess that makes our naughty parts tingle. And good morning once again. It's time for us, Roberts and Andrews Morning Show. Hello there, Mr. Andrew. Hello there, Mr. Roberts. How are you today, sir? All right, it's Friday. That makes everything better. That's, <laughs> that's always a big help. And it's Super Bowl Friday. It is Super Heading Bowl into Friday. The Super That's right. Bowl weekend. Oh man, big weekend, big weekend. And uh, let's kick things off this morning as we always do by checking in and finding out what's happening on the highways. Mr. Chris Dennison, hello there. Hello there. It looks like the rain has moved out of the area, but we're left with wet roadways, so a little bit slower than normal. But all travel lanes are open from Hanover County and Adley Elmont all the way up to Bryan Park. Ultimate Fighting Championship brings you the update: Ladell Couture Three. We have accidents Param North of 64, one at Buford and Midlothian, and one just in westbound 64 at Laburnum Avenue. Very minor delay at Fifth Street on the Shock of Bridge, and we're back up free on the Pell Height. Watch UFC 57 live this Saturday night on pay-per-view with champion Chuck Liddell and Randy Couture. Call your pay-per-view provider or use your digital remote to order UFC Liddell Couture 3. That's a look at traffic on hand of his own, WJ. Hey, thank you, buddy. Thank you. And the Munch and Lunch report for this uh, Friday in Hanover County Elementary Schools calls for tacos with toppings. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't be much without, would they? <laughs> I mean, <ta> <laughs> what would you do? Would you just have a taco? Yeah, shell. a little shell or something. <laughs> anyway, you get animal crackers with those or a hot dog on a bun. Again, what would a hot dog be without the bun? That's right. Uh, sides include baked beans, chilled pears, or fresh fruit, and the chef's salad lunch also on the menu today. So the headliners, once again, tacos or hot dogs. That's our weather music. Means it's time to find out what's uh, in store with the weatherman today. Cl uh, cloudy with a chance of showers this morning. We have any showers this morning? It was like it was like a big lake when I came in. This yeah, morning. we had a Party deluge line. at about oh I don't know five forty five <clears throat> or so. It must have rained heavy because usually if it's a light rain, our building leaks. Yeah, it's no a, drips yet. It's so a yeah, heavy you know leak. It was a heavy rain. You know, for some I haven't <laughs> figured that out yet. Anyway. anyway, chance of rain is 50%. For tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then cloudy with a chance of showers after midnight. And that chance of rain tonight is also 50%. Tomorrow's Saturday, mostly cloudy. Showers likely with a chance of thunder boomers in the morning, and then a chance of showers in the afternoon. Then the chance of rain is 60%. Sunday, partly sunny and breezy. Cooler with highs around 50 and uh, sunshine stays around up until about Thursday of next week. But it's going to be chillier. We're, we're back to, yeah. to seasonable 40s, I think, yeah, starting off for next week. Well, that's true. Well, if we were to, let's see, Super Bowl weekend, hut, 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 our way all the way over to Randolph-Macon College this morning, what would the, be the temperature over there? Starting off at a pretty balmy 56 degrees Ooh. this morning. Humidity is 88%. The winds are from the southwest at 10 miles per hour. Pressure is 29.61 inches. And the conditions outside, sir, it says here are overcast. I still overcast. say visibility is 10 miles. You'd be right, too, buddy. And here's the deal our friends from uh, Hanover Fire and EMS were talking about when they were in yesterday. A spaghetti mm -hmm. luncheon coming up mm. to benefit the Grace Alton Foundation. It's a little 19-month-old girl with a uh, rapidly progressing cancer called neuroblastoma. 
and they're raising money to help her. Uh, it's coming up Sunday, February 19th from uh, 12 to 2 at Beaver Dam Volunteer Fire Department. Cost is $7 a plate for the adults and $3.50 a plate for kids 10 and under. And that dinner will include spaghetti, salad, a roll, dessert, and drink. To get your tickets uh, up front, call Brandy Hall at 449-1305. They will have a limited number of tickets to be sold at the door. So, again, that's coming up Sunday, February 19th, uh, 12 to 2 at the Beaver Dam Volunteer Firehouse. That's, yeah, I'll sit there that. for hours watching the test. So now that we've given away the fact that we're old <laughs> geezers and completely out of touch with what's happening today. Well, there used to be a show on WXEX that I that, that Rick reminded me. I, I'd forgotten all about it. It was called Shock Theater. With the Bowman Body. Wasn't that great? Yeah, the, the, these come on cheesy, and, yeah, it would show these cheesy uh, horror films. I yeah. think it came on at 11 o'clock on Saturday nights. Well, and then later on, it also came on, I think they repeated it on Saturday afternoons. Okay. Because I remember as a kid sitting watching some of the Saturday afternoon shows. So somewhere right. in there, they also started doing that, too. But yeah, well, that was great. Yeah, it was this, was this goofy-looking little dude all dressed up as a vampire, <laughs> and he would introduce the... the uh, Bill Boom. The uh, C-rate C uh, horror films. See if you remember this, then. Oh. Roman is a little man completely out of his head. Everybody knows he uses puffin' for his bed. Every Saturday night upon your TV screen, Roman body keeps so anyway, I'm going to invest in switchgrass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What else we got going on? Uh, actually, there's really nothing too much locally that's happening today. It's been sort of a... Um, a slow Lynn Morris Band, and we're here with an important message for you and your pets. Pet overpopulation can be prevented and controlled, and affordable spay-neuter programs exist nationwide. Find help in your area. Call 1-800-248-SPAY. Do it today. Call 1-800-248-SPAY. Spay, spay, spay your pet. That can only mean one thing. What do you mean? That snipping music? That's <laughs> snipping music. Snip. Maybe sipping music. Yeah, that too. Hey, yeah, Bobby. Bobby's here from the Hanover Humane Society. And she's got a sweetheart today. You can see I the do. intelligence in this dog's yeah. eyes even in the picture. Oh, wow. Hey, you can't because you're in the distance. Well, you can hold it up to the camera and everybody yes, be able to tell. There you go. <laughs> and it was on this date in 1994 the U.S. announced the lifting of its 19-year Vietnam trade embargo. Hmm. But we're still mad at Cuba. Oh, that's never going to end. No. <laughs> we'll show them. And it was on this day in 1993. Remember this? Cincinnati Reds owner, Marge Schott, was suspended for a year due to stupid racist I comments. I remember that. She's a dope. Yeah, she's, she's out there. It was on this date in 1966. Luna 9 made the first lunar landing. Lordy, lordy. Mm -hmm. The first lunar landing. What year was that? 1966. I'm going to back up a year. Okay. 1967. Mm -hmm. On this very day. Purple Haze was recorded by Jimi Hendrix. Wow. Well, in 1964, the Meet the Beatles album went gold. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Cuba a minute ago. Yeah. It was on this day in 1962, President Kennedy banned all trade with Cuba except for food and drugs. <laughs> uh, it was on this date in 1959. This is the day the music died. Did you know that? Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. We're all killed in a plane crash near Ames, Iowa. Hmm. Um, it was on this date in 1924. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I got okay. one before that. Oh, okay. On this day in 1953, J. Mm -hmm. Fred Muggs, a chimp, 
Oh, I remember him. Became a regular on NBC's Today Show. Dave Garraway. We need a chimp. We got a chimp. Two of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would. That'd be good. Wouldn't it have a chimp? And we call ourselves Critter Radio. Yeah, there Chimps you go. Chimps are critters. Uh, a minor bird that would, could talk. Yeah. Now, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Uh, it was on this date in uh, 1924, Woodrow Wilson died. He was 28th president of the United States. He died in Washington, D.C. And let's see here. Uh, i got to go into the 1800s. Do it. It was on this date in 1869. The Booth Theater at 23rd and 6th opened in New York City with uh, Romeo and Juliet. Okay. There you go. And um, in 1865, the Hampton Roads Conference took place. We assume that was in Hampton Roads. And Lincoln and Stevens reached an impasse. All right. It doesn't sound like they reached much, does it? No, it doesn't. And it was on this date in 1815, the world's first commu commercial cheesecake factory was established in Switzerland. But the world's greatest cheesecake factory is right here. Hanover County. Hanover County. Yeah, the airport. There you go. Let's take a look at some birthdays today. Some people who are not around to celebrate their birthday today include, um, oh, Mendelssohn. Felix Mendelssohn's Felix birthday Mendelsohn. today. He's born on this date in 1809. Horace Greeley, who said, go west. Mm -hmm. He was born on this date in 1811. Gertrude Stein, uh, born on this date in 1874. Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell. Uh, born on this date in 1894. we got a lot of them here. James Michener, who wrote Chesapeake, among other things. Uh, born on this date in 1907. How about the live ones? The live ones. Let's see who is still around today. Um, uh, Joey Bishop. That's a surprise to me. He's uh, 88 years old today. Also, uh, Shelley Berman is 80 years old today. Paul Sarbanes of Maryland is 73 years old today. And Fran Tarkington, Football Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, is 66 years old today. Great Here's a, uh, Minnesota Vikings quarterback. Yeah, how about Bob Greasy, also a uh, Football Hall of Famer. Yeah, big dolphin guy. 61 today. I wonder if these guys still get out and work out and everything. You think? I they think do? they're probably in decent shape I still. Bet they're probably better shape than I am. Singer Melanie is 59 years old today. Morgan Fairchild is 56. Here's a guy who's I think is just a stitch. Who? Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. Yeah. I of the producers. You know him. You know him. Uh, he's 50 years old today. Here. There's this picture right there. Oh, okay. See oh, he is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah he is. He's great. And uh, rock musician Lee Ronaldo of Sonic Youth is 50. He's not a Jew. <laughs> better, Sonic Youth. You better change the name change of that the name one. Sonic Geezer. <laughs> and uh, actor Warwick Davis is 36. Musician Grant Berry is 29 years old today, and he's our kid for today. Look at hey, this. Hey, nobody on the local birthday I list got today. Nobody huh? on our local birthday list for uh, birthdays or for anniversaries or anything like that. Up to you guys to change that. You got to do that. If you have a birthday or an anniversary or any kind of a special day, please let us know about it. And then we'll tell you to go over and visit Nancy and the ladies at the Flower Depot. Located conveniently in the Ashland Hanover Shopping Center right here in town. They'll fix you right up. With what? I don't know. A pastel of posies? A uh, rash of roses? I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> a a uh, tumble of tulips. There you go. There you go. And uh, I want to thank Rick Grant for coming over here today with uh, with the camera and setting it up. That's two Fridays in a row he's been in here. I know it. He's he deserves good. combat pay but from the town. Going to become a regular, so we appreciate that. Hey, uh, have a great weekend. Go Steelers. We'll see you back here on Monday when we'll recap the Super Bowl. Yep.